Faith was all said. Those who instruct many persons in Christian justice will shine like stars throughout all eternity. The brother, he continues, truly shines in the midst of his grateful students, colleagues, and friends who are welcoming him since they recognize his role as God's instrument in their own salvation. Today, we share this consolation, this joy of our beloved brother Ceci, who is reunited with his family, friends, and students, with all the angels and saints as described by Saint Lazar. Indeed, we join the heavenly celebrations of his grand homecoming brother Ceci, who is not only a teacher, mentor, Julia, literature, storyteller, animator, photographer, and brother to all of us, young and old, but also to those who have gone before us. While most of us grieve for his passing, brother says he who enjoyed life and lived life to the full was ready to embrace that part of life that some of us fear death. He would have reminded us by now that death is a part of life and that it is merely a transition towards something that is greater and better. Hence, we offer this celebration of the Holy Eucharist for him and for our own consolation. Brother Sessi often reminded us that when all else fails, God will not. Let us therefore with confidence remember that we are the most holy presence of God, recognize God's unfailing love for us and for Brother Sessi, and that believing that God has not failed in welcoming our beloved brother into Christ's let us all now rise and join the brothers and sing the Yes, sir. 
they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus, they persecuted the prophets who were before. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated in the same I realized while reflecting on the life of Sessi for the past four days that he is many things to many people. If there are 500 in this room today and I ask each one of you to talk about Brother Sessi, you will get 500 different facets to the man all real and authentic traces of the person whose life we celebrate today. For this morning's sharing, I proffer to you three faces of Brother Sessie. The storyteller as Brother Sessie. In, me, in medieval Gaelic and British cultures, there was a specific class of poets called bards. They were employed by local kings, princes and chieftains to compose eulogies, sing songs, tell stories, and ensure that their myths and legends were known throughout their lands. Bards were seen as important fixtures in their kingdoms. They were showered with gifts and had special treatment. The bard was a repository of histories, stories, legends, songs, and poetry of his people. Wherever the bard traveled, he was honored and was accorded diplomatic immunity. Before the invention of the printing press and books, the bard could be relied upon to know the latest news from his court, where the crops had failed or which roads were safe to travel. For some villages and towns, the bard was the only reliable source of information. Monasteries occasionally maintained bards as historians and genealogists. Cecilio Montenegro de Ovidia did not know how to sing, but he certainly knew how to tell a story. And I am certain that he, had he been born in the Middle Ages, he would have been a bard. Storytelling was one of Ceci's greatest gifts. He had the ability to capture your imagination and draw you into his world. For many of us who have heard him speak, we saw how he effortlessly wove little stories into the tapestries of inspiration. Ceci was a treasure trove of stories of everyone he knew and everything in the Salia. He had the gift of connecting very easily with many people, young and old, and knowing their stories and spreading them to energize, inspire, and enhance others. He liked to call himself a multiplicator, a multiplier of stories, one who spread good news, one who passed on stories of hope. However, we must not separate or fail to see Cecil's gift of storytelling in the context of his persona as teacher. In Brother Ceci, the two are inextricably entwined together. He understood the power and efficacy of storytelling in imparting lessons and values he wanted us to grasp. If Sensi was a great teacher, it was because he was a great storyteller.